Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to understand the ninth lesson globalization. In globalization, no? we are going to understand completely very important topics, all the important topics and even uh, what is a globalization and the completely make you clear the exam point of view no? it also also no? give the questions or uh, you check it right and yes. Okay? Right. So what is globalization? Globalization is a major change. Globalization is a major change that occurred tremendously that occurred tremendously during 20th century during the last 20th century is called globalization is called what? Globalization. So what is globalization? Globalization is a major change. Globalization is a major change that occurred tremendously during 20th century is called globalization. So here, you know, it not only it changed tremendously but also it has a great it has a great impact on culture, traditions, cultural, traditional and economic dimensions economic dimensions so very important one this is for two marks two marks question is it globalization is a major change that occurred tremendously during 20th century is called globalization it has culture traditional and economic dimensions cultural we are not only exchanging only money or trade but also we are also changing culture our culture our traditions and the economic Okay, that is great. Right? Next, so we will try to understand uh, what are the factors which leads to globalization. Especially, the first point is the flow of trade. The flow of trade, that is in, in goods as well as services. The flow of trade in goods and services. Next point, the flow of labor. The flow of labor is in search of employment, in search of job. The people travel from one place to another place or not? Yes, in search of employment. Next is the flow of capital. Flow of capital. Capital means money. That is short term investment, leda. Short term leda or long term investment. Long term. Investment. Investment in the petrol. A Videshu look on a Baladesh and Lochu or any companies do petrol. So that we can earn more and more profits. So these are the three flow, these are the three flows of globalization. On this only the globalization works on. That is flow of trade in goods and services. That is most probably the goods are exported and services are also exported and imported. Yes or no? So not only how the example is the flow of goods and Videshi Samal Yavidhuna, Videshi products Yavidhuna, my India and Kosev, my India on my India on Samal Videshi Yavidhuna, right, services and data, with the better call centers, okay, a call centers flow and a call centers name is known, Manam Rukad, E. Baradeshu Munde, Manamu, Varaku, American Singapore service providers, okay, so flow of labor and yes, Many of people they are going to USA, UK, West Asian countries, like Arab countries. Oh, no. In this way, in search of job only they are going to yes. In search of job in and uh, for education. The flow of capital and uh, many of the countries they will use their amount of money in various countries. In various countries. So that they can earn huge amount of money, huge amount of profit, huge profit. So this is all about three flows, very important, the flow of trade, flow of labor, flow of capital. Okay, now? understood now? Now we will try to understand about the multinational company. MNC, what is meaning of MNC? Multinational company. So just for example only, there is not any otherwise. Suppose you think that here iPhone, 
the idea of iPhone is United States of America, I think, Brazil there. Okay. So he need the raw material to make the iPhone or not? The iPhone that you have display the all. So where display you will order? You will order in South Korea. That is Samsung mobiles. Okay, display, Mr. Manji display. Okay, and then open the you know fiber particles are required. He will order in China. Where in China the raw material is available in large quantity. Okay, and not only that in China again he will open its factory, its manufacturing company, where the labors are very cheap, cheap labors in India. Yes or not? So that's why he will establish the other company here. And in India, what he will establish? He will establish service center, call service center. I'll tell you all this. Okay. So in various countries, various products are in various countries, various products are manufactured. They are not everything is not manufactured in the United States of America. Okay, now see that here in China, raw materials are available at cheap prices. Okay, the plastic and all plastic and all. And due to that, what happens? He need not to pay the money in dollars. The American iPhone company need not to pay money in dollars. But instead of that, what he can do? He, you know, he establish its company at very low cost. Where in China, large number of employees will be employed here at very low cost only that too. Okay, so because whose money is bigger? United States of America. Money is bigger when compared to China already. Okay, and due to that here, the labors are also, you can get large number of labors and cheap labors. Kali, Ade, America lo, labors with the Yoka United, Yoka iPhone company, labors with the Ikan establishment of Gotan company. Apro, Ade amount to, he has to pay. Ade, suppose I think that here 30,000 rupees is given per person as a salary in India. But whereas in America, just assume, $30,000 per. You can imagine how much amount of money it is. Okay? A huge amount of money. So that's why here, these people, what they'll do? They'll establish their companies in various countries. They'll establish their company in various countries. And in this way, they will earn huge profits. Understood, ma? Okay? I think service centers in India are going to be able to Okay, suppose you think that iPhone company, you know, one company options are going to Okay, so he wanted to consult, he wanted to consult with whom? With the iPhone calling, iPhone service, toll free number. A toll free number is a number. We are washing machine, one nine one 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 eight double zero four two zero nine eight hundred zero something <coughs> like this. They will give the numbers or not. So, a kind of toll free and rational. Okay. A person is calling from USA, but the call will not connect to USA's company, but it will connect to India's company. Okay, and it's a branch of it's a branch of iPhone only. But here you can find in India when compared to America, here you can find the cheap labors only. Okay, why? Because he has to give the money in rupees, not in dollars. After the Mugur kitchen, we can also do in under in Jita Reach. Oh, no. Why? Because he has to give in dollars, but here he has to give in, the company has to give in rupees. So that's why he will hire the, and you know, if you want to establish a company there, you need in, you know, hundreds of dollars hours required. But whereas here you can take the, here you can take any building for rent, and then you can pay it. Okay. So at very low price, efficient work will be done. Take it up various countries where the labors or where the raw materials are low in quantity or less in price okay so in that way this is all about multinational company and you see that here what is the main agenda the main agenda finally it's to it's to earn profit okay with the Indian companies with profit on the other hand only Indian only Indian multinational companies have been done now Indian multinational Indian multinational companies are there. Indian multinational companies are there. We can take Tata Motors, okay, and uh, uh, you know, like uh, Parak Foods, Parak Foods, right? Sundaram, Sundaram Nuts and Bolts, Asian Paints. Even more, 
इवनी एडवे इंडियन मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज है सो दैट मींस दैट दे आर हैविंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दे आर हैविंग द ब्रांचेस एंड दे आर हैविंग अ ग्रेट डिमांड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आल्सो सो इन दिस वे द मल्टीनेशनल वर्क्स आर गोइंग ओके डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वेरी नाइस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट इन दिस सी दैट हियर a multinational company or a multinational company is to know he will spend he or she will spend or the company will spend the money to buy assets to buy what the assets assets are like such as we can take land or a company they are building hydrogen company machines they are building okay and various other equipments for them and other equipments it will purchase who purchase the multinational companies and in this way the huge amount of money is spent to buy all these assets okay to establish a company okay so here either this multinational companies either directly they will set up their own industries set up their own industries lega they will collaborate with the existing company they are doing a sort of collaboration they will collaborate with the existing industry for example mana telangana chusnadaithe triplex appu varu vastadi okay so ippudu ee foreign investment the person who is having 10 crores of rupees oka foreigner dara 10 crore rupees undi aa paisa em cheyali edanna investment cheyali anukunna okay aa time la em chestarante డైరెక్ట్లీ ఒకవేళ తన కంప తను కంపెనీ పెట్టుకున్నాడు అనుకో అప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది ఇవన్నీ కొనాలి ఓకే మళ్ళీ అడ్వర్టైజ్మెంట్ చేయాలి ఏసారా ఇవన్నీ అడ్వర్టైజ్మెంట్ చేయాలి ఇప్పుడు మంచి మంచి కంపెనీస్ ఉన్నాయి లైక్ రీని కానీ సర్ఫెక్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఇలాంటి పెద్ద పెద్ద కంపెనీస్ ఉన్నాయి ఓకే దే ఆర్ ఆల్ రినౌన్డ్ కంపెనీస్ ఓకే ఎన్నో ఏళ్ళ నుంచి మన ఇండియాలో నడుస్తున్నాయి మేము ఈనో ప్రాఫిట్లీ బట్ హియర్ వాట్ హీ హ్యాస్ టు డూ హియర్ హీ హ్యాస్ టు ఇఫ్ a foreigner if you wanted to invest the invest the money in the company starting nunchi first to land building machines and all that okay tarvata and in general next he has to uh, give the advertisements advertisement yaar okay advertisement yaar ante mana you know celebrities ni is for cricketers gaani hero heroines ni gaani is for sir okay varaki inda amount pay cheyali avuna so all this leads to huge amount of money huge amount of money and the uh, and the company start cheyagu munde company pungi pothu so the akunda kevaram ante kevaram profit e earn cheyalanu kuda you will see that first a local area lo a prantham lo a company baaga a company baaga pan chestundi a pan a company profit lo undi okay neela ipina okay లైక్ తెలంగాణలో అయితే మన ఆంధ్రలో ఉండదు తెలంగాణలో అయితే ట్రిప్లెక్స్ అప్పు బాగా యూనో అంత ప్రతి ఇంట్లో మోస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ట్రిప్లెక్స్ అప్పు వాడతారు వాళ్ళకి ఇలా జలుబు కూడా బాగుతుంది మైల కూడా బాగుతుంది అని చెప్పి సో ఈ ఫారెన్ ఆయన ఏం చేస్తున్నారంటే డైరెక్ట్లీ నేను ఇన్వెస్ట్ ద మనీ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ దిస్ కంపెనీ ఓకే సో యాజ్ ఎన్ ఇన్వెస్ట్ దిస్ కంపెనీ ఇప్పుడు ఈ సబ్ ఆయన ఏం చేస్తున్నారంటే హీ విల్ డైరెక్ట్లీ హీ విల్ బ్రింగ్ ద బిగ్ బిగ్ మషీన్స్ okay big the machines he will bring and the quality of the soap will increase more better than previous mun patikanna ipul baaga untaru na quality why because it got a huge amount of money okay so what it will do finally <clears throat> you know as the you know as these soaps are sold in large quantities and whatever the profit they get this profit is shared among the two okay that is the foreigner and the the owner of the company okay so they might have again what they are doing so he need not to come and invest the money to establish a new company directly he can invest the money in the existing company okay mundu gaane mun padnuncho unna company meeda vaallu yoka investment chese kuda full profit and he has any money directly invest cheyadu ante adu meena so ee vidhanga foreign investment kuda jarugutundi okay and the investment ఓ కొందరు ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్కి చేసుకుంటారు కొందరు టెన్ ఇయర్స్కి చేసుకుంటారు కొందరు ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్కి చేసుకుంటారు 
ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్కి చేసుకుంటేనేమో ఇట్స్ ఎ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ అండ్ టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్కి చేసుకుంటేనేమో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ అండర్స్టూడ్ మా వాట్ ఈస్ షార్ట్ టర్మ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ అండ్ డిడ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఫార్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఎస్ ఎంఎన్సి విల్ స్పెండ్ మనీ whether he or she will spend money to buy assets such as land building machines and other equipment to set up their own industries then it is called as foreign investment leda ila set up their own investment anukunna own industry anukunna either they can collaborate you know they can collaborate with the other industries so motham meeda vala game kavali vaal vechinchina dabbu meeda profit raavalante yes or no right uh, this is what all about foreign investment i hope you have understood this and we'll go for the next topic okay right. okay guys next topic what is foreign trade the trade between countries the trade between countries rendu deshala madhya the trade between countries with the export and import with export and igmati and dimmati with the export and import of goods of goods is called the foreign trade is called as what foreign trade so in the one ante videsha vastuvulu joodalante chaala kashtam untundi okay mal dan tax avve pay chestunnam but now today in this modern world we can see that the number of countries ikkada ikkada dorke e vastuvulu unnayo we can find in america america lo dorke vastuvulu evaithano we can find in india yes or not so that happened that is possible due to the trade the trade between countries with the exports and imports of goods is called as what foreign trade okay now if you see that here what are the factors that enabled the globalization globalization mean in the impact padaran karanam enti ante first thing endante technology technology played a very important role okay another endante liberalization of foreign trade and foreign investment foreign trade and foreign investment foreign trade and foreign investment policy will allow ఈ గ్లోబలైజేషన్ అది చాలా ఎక్కువ మొత్తంలో ప్రభావం చూపించిన అన్ని దేశాలు ఓకే అండ్ వీ కుడ్ కనెక్ట్ ఈచ్ అదర్ కంట్రీస్ అనమాట డ్యూ టు గ్లోబలైజేషన్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఏది టెక్నాలజీ రెండో ఏది లిబరలైజేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫారెన్ ట్రేడ్ అండ్ ఫారెన్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ పాలసీ వల్ల నౌ వీ క్యాన్ ఇట్ వీ కెన్ వెరీ హెల్ప్ఫుల్ ఫర్ అస్ టు ట్రేడ్ విత్ ద అదర్ కంట్రీస్ అనమాట వితౌట్ పేయింగ్ ఎనీ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ట్యాక్సెస్ ఓకే సో వాట్ ఈస్ ట్రేడ్ బ్యారియర్ ట్రేడ్ బ్యారియర్ ఓకే ట్రేడ్ అంటే వ్యాపారం బ్యారియర్ అంటే అడ్డు సో సపోజ్ ఎనీ కంట్రీ పుట్స్ రిస్ట్రిక్షన్స్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ అండ్ ఇంపోర్ట్స్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ అండ్ ఇంపోర్ట్స్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ట్రేడ్ బ్యారియర్ ఎనీ కంట్రీ ఇఫ్ ఎనీ కంట్రీ పుట్ రిస్ట్రిక్షన్స్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ అండ్ ఇంపోర్ట్స్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ ట్యాక్సెస్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ కలెక్ట్స్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ కలెక్ట్స్ ట్యాక్సెస్ ఆన్ ది import goods if it collect taxes on import goods then it is called as what trade barrier okay before 1991 we were india was having trade barrier ante videsham nunchi ye vastulu vachina kuda vaati meeda varu tax pay cheyalsi okay so appatlo it television service no like bpn and jp phone and jp alanti television service no ఇండియా లోకి వస్తుంది కానీ అప్పట్లో ఫోర్ థౌజండ్ రూపీస్ మినిమం ఇట్ వాస్ ఫోర్ థౌజండ్ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ రూపీస్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఓకే ఇంక్లూడింగ్ ద ట్యాక్సెస్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ వాట్ ట్యాక్సెస్ ఇండియన్ ట్యాక్సెస్ ఏ కాకుండా ఇంపోర్టెడ్ ట్యాక్సెస్ కూడా ఇచ్చేవాళ్ళు అండ్ డ్యూ టు దాట్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఆ ఫోర్ థౌసండ్ రూపీస్కి మనకు చిన్న టీవీ వచ్చారు ఓకే అదే ట్యాక్స్ లేకుండా మనకు రెండు వేలు రెండు వేల ఐదు వందల వరకు మనకు వస్తుంది అప్పుడు జనాల జీతాలు ఎంత ఉంటుండే ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ 1991 so if you know when p v narasimha rao narasimha rao became the prime minister he saw that there is no money in the government money in the government he found that there is no money in the government okay 
and uh, finally he has gone to IMF International Monetary Fund okay that is called World Bank and World Bank okay World Bank so World Bank they are bringing it to the world sir make amount of this you will give the money to run your government but you have to remove the trade barrier trade barrier ni in this year okay where they shall also live to know import jewel and import jadani avashya mohan and you should not collect any tax collection of no tax so that the indian government tv narsimara and indian government has accepted and finally we have removed the trade barrier in the initial trade barrier was removed ma 1991 okay during tv narsimara when he was the prime minister this is all about trade barrier i hope you have understood this okay trade barrier then of adda gita videsha vasulu india ki raavu enduku raavu why it should not come into india because we were not ready india was not ready to compete with the world to compete with the world why we were not ready to compete with the world ma because india lo machines ave thunnayo avi 1950 machines ave okay but whereas in the world the machines were very fast were very fast whatever production chala fast one quality fast one excellent one and that's why the you know the indian government wanted them not to remove this trade barrier so that we can compete later on oka vela you trade barrier this is the event the india lo unna companies india lo unna companies evo thunnayo avanni kuda ఏమైపోతే బ్యాండ్ అయిపోతాయి బ్యాండ్ అంటే నాట్ జనరలీ ద వర్డ్ మీనింగ్ బ్యాండ్ బట్ అవన్నీ ఏమైపోతాయి అంటే లాస్ లో వెళ్ళిపోతాయి బికాస్ నో వన్ విల్ పర్చేస్ ఇండియన్ గూడ్స్ ఆ టైమ్ ఓకే సో ఇది వాళ్ళ ఆలోచన ఇట్స్ నాట్ మై థింకింగ్ ఇట్ నో వన్ విల్ పర్చేస్ బై బికాస్ ద కాస్ట్ విల్ బి హై బట్ క్వాలిటీ నార్మల్ గా ఉంటుంది బట్ వేర్ యాస్ ద ఫారెన్ గూడ్స్ అలా ఉంటే కాస్ట్ విల్ బి లెస్ కాస్ట్ విల్ బి లెస్ and the quality will be excellent and due to these reasons only here yeah, due to these reasons only they did not allow any foreign companies goods into india 